that's an entrance. What up? 73 questions with a Zac Efron arriving in style. Oh yeah. How you doing? Could not be better. Good. All right, so what's her story? Ah, uh, this is my 64 and a half Mustang. I just got it restored. And what's the coolest thing about your 64 and a half Mustang? Uh, I inherited it from my grandfather. Does the car have a name? Uh, Gramps. Mind if I hop inside? Nah, you have, we don't have time, dude. We gotta start uh. this barbecue, right? Okay. So how'd you start your day this morning, Zach? Oh, uh, same as always. Every day. 50 push-ups. Huge workout. I'm just kidding. It's more impressive than me. <laughs> What well, one person did you have on your wall when you were in high school? Oh, no kidding. Tyra Banks. Just, I had a poster. Tyra. She was in a purple bathing suit. Pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> what show would you like to make a cameo in? Definitely Stranger Things. What's a movie that made you cry from laughter? Pineapple Express. What's a movie that made you cry from sadness? Titanic. What's your favorite album right now at this moment? Uh, Coloring Book by Chance the Rapper. Zach, this view is amazing. Thanks, bro. Nice. What's one album people would be surprised to know that you own? Celine Dion, it's greatest hits. That's a surprise. And all the other albums. If you could be a rock star from any decade, who'd you be? Easy, Prince. Now, if you could be any rapper, who would you be? Chance the Rapper or Kendrick Lamar. We'll take two answers for that. Okay, Google, uh, play my barbecue playlist. Okay, playing your Google Play Music playlist called Barbecue. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Zach is playing the role of DJ. All right, what's a song from the 90s that you still listen to? I listen to What I Got by Sublime. What's one thing that you still have from your childhood? Dignity, I hope. What is your spirit animal? Definitely a hawk. What was the name of your first pet? The first pet that I owned was named Cuckoo Kitty. It was a stray cat that I found Cuckoo yeah. Kitty. <laughs> Cuckoo Kitty. What's your go-to workout song? I don't know, something like aggressive. Hip-hop, schoolboy Q, I want the top. Yeah. All right. And uh, what's the name of your go-to karaoke song? My go-to karaoke song? Yep. Ice Ice Baby. If you attempted to play any sport professionally, what sport would that be? Um, the NFL. What's your favorite team of all time? The Lakers. Kobe or Shaq? Come on, man, Kobe. You gonna make this shot? Oh, uh, yeah. And, oh! Oh! <laughs> Surprisingly close. <laughs> Zach, what's your favorite sports documentary <laughs> of all time? Uh, pretty much any 30 for 30. Show's amazing. What was it like to kiss Dwayne Johnson? Absolutely amazing. He's perfect. Breathtaking. <laughs> Seems like you really enjoyed that experience. It was amazing. Okay, so if you tried, could you remember every name that Dwayne Johnson called you in Baywatch? No. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite place to hang out? Planet Earth. Do you have any bad neighbors? Mm, no, not really. Now, Zach, when you're not working, what's one thing you love to do? Pretty much anything outdoors. Can you be any more specific than that? I don't know, surfing, skate, anything outdoors. Okay. What is the weirdest hidden talent that you're willing to share with us at the moment? Uh, I can blow spit bubbles with my tongue. All right, so you're gonna have to put on your performer hat for this one, but what's the best impression that you can do? Um, impression? <laughs> yep. I don't know, once you start the impression, if you mess it up, then there's a lot at stake, and you have to make a careful choice to even start to do the impression. You sound like an idiot, <laughs> and that's supposed to be Christopher, Christopher Walken. Walken. See, you know, I'm an no, idiot. the resemblance was uncanny. All right, what's your worst habit? Worst habit, procrastination. What's your best habit? Best habit is I always, always come through and get the job done. What's the number one fitness tip that you have for everyone watching this video? Just uh, start slow. What's the number one piece of advice you have for other young actors looking to break into the business? Practice patience. You got two minutes of patience for me? Okay, Google, set a timer for two minutes. Sure, two minutes, starting now. Oh, the pressure is on to finish this up. Okay, who's your biggest role model? My grandfather. What is your favorite part of your job? Probably the versatility of it. Now, if you're not an actor, what would your dream job be and why? I would probably be a chef. What's the craziest thing that's ever happened on set? Um, one time I tackled Macy Gray in my underwear. <laughs> and it was improv, so she wasn't expecting it. It was pretty funny. Yeah. I have no words for this. What do you mean? You don't have one of you? If you could have lunch or dinner with anyone, living or dead, who would it be? Ooh, 
Man. Paul Newman? Okay, if you can imagine any three people... <laughs> destroyed your hoop, but if you can imagine any three people cannonballing into your pool at the same time, who would they be? My co-stars from the new movie Greatest Showman. Uh, Hugh Jackman, Zendaya, and Michelle Williams. Who would you love to do a love scene with? The Rock. To finish what we started. <laughs> what, what advice would you give your 20-year-old self? <laughs> to be patient. Okay. What's the best piece of advice you've ever received? To be like water, my friend. What's the best advice that you can give your baby bro? Just mm, do what I say, dude. Come on. Just like do what your big bro has to do. All right, Zach, so it's 20 years in the future. You have a daughter. What the what heck? What age That's do you let her date? I don't even want to go there to way too early. Okay, that's a, that's a strange yeah, question. Yeah, we'll talk about that <laughs> All right, later. later. Fair enough. Who's your style icon? Steve McQueen. What's your go-to look? Just classic jeans, black t-shirt. Oh, thank you. Cheers. What's your favorite scent? Uh, I'm definitely Hugo Man. What's the most worn item in your wardrobe? Black shirt. If you were to design a t-shirt, what would you put on it? Definitely no labels. Ah, I need two more minutes. What's your favorite food? Kale. What's your least favorite food? Absolutely kale. What's the weirdest thing you've ever cooked? Mm, worms in an egg that I found in a tree over a campfire with Bear Grylls. Oh, what's the most memorable meal you've ever had? That's probably one of the most memorable meal I've ever had. <laughs> If Zac Efron was a juice, what would be in it? Uh, it's sriracha and a bunch of love. Hmm. In fact, I have to say, this is a pretty uh, good barbecue. No, oh, good. I'm glad you like it. Okay, what's your nerdiest quality? I don't know. Is nerd even really like a thing anymore? I don't think so. Okay. What's the most memorable fan moment that you've ever had? My fans rule, so I have a lot of good fan moments. If your life were a musical, what would it be called? Zach Delicious. What's your favorite moment from all of High School Musical? Ah, uh, there's so many. Ah, uh, just uh, think of one. I mean, the finale when the curtains close, it like, tears me up. All the, the whole, all of it. All right. Zach, behind you is a shark I planned it for the next question. Is it true you once mm. swam with wild sharks? Yes, that's not the shark I rode, but I did ride a tiger shark. Oh. A big one in Hawaii. It was pretty cool. If you could change your name, what would you change your name to? Khaleesi. What was your first job? Um, I did a small play in Royal Grande uh, at the Melodrama. I paid like two bucks an hour. What song have you played more than any other song on guitar? Um, Santeria, I think. What would your DJ name be? Afro Zach. What's the most terrifying thing you've ever done? Um, maybe skydiving. Um, I'm not afraid of much, so. Definitely not sharks. But riding the shark was pretty scary. <laughs> <laughs> if you could be a star in any movie in history, what would it be? Um, the Godfather Part 1. Okay, last two questions. What's it like working with Seth Rogen? Absolutely incredible. Seth Rogen is amazing. Can you do your impression of Seth Rogen, just like you did for Christopher Walken, while I walk away from you slowly? <laughs> uh, uh, oh, man. I, how do you even start an impression of Seth. He's always like so on top of it. You just kind of you can't really do an impression of Seth because he's just talking. This is the way that he, <laughs> did, he enunciates think, exactly. things. He's making it seem like it's just he's using common sense because this is awesome. Okay, Google? You can't impersonate me. I have the best voice ever. Like, I don't know. Maybe Zach could do it. Maybe Zach can do an impression. Of me. I'm not sure. 